guys, what's up? Ultra Fails today, and today we're gonna teach you about how to take care of your axolotl. Size on my shoulder over there. <laughs> anyway, so don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment, whatever. So let's get to this. So this is the axolotl's tank. You might want to see here. Is this zoomed in all the way? Or? Oh yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, but this is his tank. I usually feed him at night, occasionally. These are the food pellets. They're made out of fly meat. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to give him a nice little hiding spot. A tank with a good filter. I just totally broke the rules on putting a not-so-bright light into there. I'm going to fix that. Give him little rocks, little playthings. So, anyway. So this is Nebula. He's an especially particular really cute one. And basically I'm gonna show you how to take care of your own axolotl. Um guys, I used to have a regular like a lantern over the like a lamp. Till the light blew the light bulb blew up. Like it exploded in the middle of the night. It freaked me out, so Anyway, so we had to get him this new lid over here. So, he's really cute. I don't know if y'all guys ever seen an axolotl, but we're gonna go to his face. So yeah, this is Nebula. Um, he's one of my particular albino axolotls. There's many different colors, many different sizes and shapes, whatever you wanna say. And uh, these right here, these tentacle things are at skills. And it's just a really cool pet. They're really easy to take care of. And um, they're pretty easy just to look at. It's fun. Many pets. But yeah, this is Nebula. And he sometimes likes to flex his, flex his gills. So what I do to feed him is like... Or you drop the food pellets in on top and it'll land on his head. You may think they're so cute. They're like ravenous killers when it comes to fly meat because he starts ripping at it and stuff. Yeah, so always drop food right in front of his face. He'll just suck it right up. So cute. But um, anyway, how to clean the tank. What I just traditionally do, I just... Uh, I just like take the tank, the whole entire thing. First I take out all the stuff, like his little hidey thing right here. And um, I just take him out and I usually plug the sink and put him in the sink to fill it up. It's fun to just watch him play in the sink. Really fun. And then like what you just did, empty the water out, scrub it out, you know, get all the dirty stuff, clean the Clean the high places and extra stuff you have in there. Then you just put water in there. Put your stuff in there. Put water in there. And then put the axolotl in there. He'll start swimming, get adapted to it. Uh, so when you feed him about three times a day, I usually do it at night. He gets the whole feed package at night, so. But, yeah. I'm not a full experienced axolotl owner, but um, in the future I may just breed more of them since they're endangered, and I might sell some, you know, so that way I have like a business, because that's, that's one of the business I want to do, I'm to sell axolotl, but yeah, he's not moving a dang once, like, like, <laughs> Nebula, yeah. He, they don't like the move that much. Well, mine doesn't in particular. They usually eventually go up for air because, of course, they're salamanders. But you're like, this is weird. And so, you know, just take care of them, feed them. They're pretty easy to do. Don't play with them. Don't touch them. Don't try to take them out of the tank. Don't try to ruin their little slime coat because they'll probably kill them or something. So yeah, that is how you 
take care of your axle bottle. Just gonna show you that. And just gonna say a quick uh, bye. Don't forget to subscribe and blah blah blah.